hi guys welcome welcome it's been so long hello make sure if you're here to hit the thumbs up button Thank you. <clears throat> hi, hi, hi. Hi, Susan. Hi, Candace. How are you? Hi, Jill. Hey, guys. Hello, hello. Oh, thank you. I decided to put some effort in today. Look at me. It's the first time I've done my hair in like three months. It's kind of sad. Hey, girl. Hey. Hi, guys. Holy moly, you guys are here so fast. Hello. Hi. Make sure if you're here, you just hit the thumbs up button for me, por favor, please. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you guys are like piling in. Hi, hello. Aw, thanks guys. Good afternoon or morning or evening, wherever you are. Hey sis. Aw, thanks. You guys always know how to make a girl feel real, real good. Aw, John doing my makeup. That was so fun. It was such a pain in the butt too, really was. It took like two hours to film that video. Hi. Aw, thank you. I'm glowing? Stop. John's back is still bothering him, but it's not as bad. I actually made an appointment for the chiropractor Monday. So he's going to go to the chiropractor and get taken care of. We both are going to go together. Hi, Aunt Susu. Love you. Telly and Pat, we love her. Ella loved your books, Julie. Thank you so much for that. It was the best gift. Seriously, the best gift. She loves her books. She takes it everywhere with her. John should let Ella do makeup on him. John should let Ella do makeup on him. She's not interested in that right now, honestly. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Do you think you'd enjoy treats from other countries? I think so. I don't really discriminate against food. <laughs> it's not something I know, know how to do. Propping my leg up here. We're getting comfortable. My day is good. I'm tired. I've been up since 5 a.m., but other than that, I'm thriving. I put effort into myself today and I feel like that's a win, you know? How are you guys doing? Aw, thanks guys. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> Seriously, so nice. Oh, I'm exhausted too. I was all ready to go this morning and now I'm like, whoo, crash. Hi, Melissa. Aw. Thanks guys. What's everyone up to? It's been way too long since we've done one of these. Way too long. I was doing them a lot when uh, the Rona started and then life took over. And I just like, it's hard to do live streams just because you have to like pay attention. I wanna talk to you guys and life has been nutso. I feel you Rachel, it's the first time I had a bra on in too long. Oh, that's so sweet, Jesse. You do not have to put together anything for us. We are just grateful that you're hanging out and that you're friends. Thank you, Natasha. Congratulations on your sobriety, Jen. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. You should be so proud of yourself. It's huge. I've been getting crafty too. I'm going to be doing these cabinets really soon. Kitchen makeover. I'm super excited about it. Aw, thanks, Stephanie. Hi, Annie. So how's everyone doing? What's life what's life looking like for you guys? How are you feeling? How you living? Everybody okay? The comments come there faster than here. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Zoe. I work in a British elementary school here in the Netherlands and our schools are open, so we're back at work. Holy crap. 
Holy moly. I went to Target today. We did a pickup order, which you guys will see obviously in tomorrow's vlog. And I was kind of shook at how many people were just like, you know, chilling. But at the same time, I mean, I'm not going to judge anybody doing anything as long as everyone is trying to keep themselves safe and isn't like, you know, out of hand. I'm down. Do what you do. Um, I don't know if people are going crazy because we're not out and about. So I have no idea. Target was pretty packed. Um, I was in the drive through order thing, but it looked pretty packed. I mean, Florida never really chilled out, you guys. I mean, it kind of did, but not really. <laughs> so it kind of feels the same. A little bit more normal, honestly. I'm so glad life is good. Random question. What size tops do you order from Glitzy Girls? Typically, I order a 3X usually all the time, pretty much. Um, some of their shirts run pretty big, and I'll get a 2X. But most of the time, I get a 3X. Aw, exhausted and dealing with meltdown. A lot of them in the past two days working on two hours sleep, being single parent with autism. Susan, I'm so sorry you're exhausted. I hope your days get better. I understand those hard days. It's no joke. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so glad your sister's okay, Anna. We are well. We got masks way before this started and I don't even know where you can get them now. I'm missing comments. Oh no. Uh, this is from Glitzy Girls, this top. Good morning, Tawny. She is doing okay. John's back is getting better. Where are your talks in front of the window? I don't have the same living room set up anymore. I used to like lean on the back of my old couch and do it, but maybe we should do a window talk. I typically sit at the table now. We call it table talk. Welcome to my table talk. You know, if I'm sitting down at the table, it's serious. Ella's handling being at home really, really well, shockingly. So well, actually. She's thriving. She's so smart. She's doing really well. Um, I'm just really proud of her. She's adjusted probably better than anyone else. Hi, Michelle. Do Glitzy Girls tops run big, normal, or small? It depends, but most of the time, I would say they run pretty big, usually. Sometimes they're like on size, but you know. Oh, thank you, Natasha. Thank you, Carly. You like the window talk? It's been a really long time since I sat in front of the window and talked, <laughs> like so long. Maybe I'll have to do a window talk soon. I don't have anything to talk about right now. I feel like life is pretty, you know, boring. She's making weird noise back there. John's on a Ella duty today. We had a really good day though. Oh, I'm so glad you like the vlogs. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Susan. My three-year-old just said, I love watching more and then asked, where's Ella? Ella's hanging out in the back. Oh, thank you, Amanda. You guys are so nice. Let me tell you guys nice things about you, okay? I can't really see your pictures, but you guys are all so sweet and so smart. My adult son has Down syndrome, mental health issues, and autism. He lives in a residential facility and on lockdown. I miss him so much. I get to FaceTime and Zoom with him, but ready to hug him. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kelly. I hope you get to hug him soon. I really hope they, like kind of chill out on the lockdowns with the centers and stuff like that and homes and residential facilities because I think more than anything everybody needs to see their family and like familiar you know loved ones everything is well hi oh yay that's exciting Candace I want to get my nails done so bad but I don't want to go to a nail salon yet I might have to eventually. These toes are hideous. Everything's pretty much open here, pretty much, right? I don't know. Is everything open where you guys are? Where do you live? Yes, she is definitely itching to get out. What advice would you give support staff as a parent? It's a really good question. 
I would say treat whoever you're working with like they are your own person, like your own family member. And a lot of times I would always try and maintain like a level of like, if you're working with someone who's 15 years old, but may be nonverbal, I would always try and maintain like a relationship to treat them like they're a teenager. Obviously if there's a language barrier or communication issues, it'll be harder to treat them like that. But like speaking to like a 15 year old at like they're a baby is kind of offensive or would be considered like, I don't know. I would just say treat them like they are a person, not like they're disabled, if that makes sense. It's very generic, but I hope that made sense. Phase one in Missouri just opened yesterday. Wow, no, not much open yet in Ontario. I know Canada's locked down, like locked down. Ella is potty trained, yes. That was a great vlog that you were embarrassed about showing your legs. It was great because it was real and most can relate. Thanks, Lauren. Love you, girl. Love you, too. Thank you so much. That was such an embarrassing video for me, considering I forgot to edit that, like, put the edited version out of that one. That was, like, oh, embarrassing. But we got through it, and I'm glad you guys liked it. Nobody even noticed until I said anything. That's so funny. Yeah, talk to them. Exactly, Julie. That's a great, great suggestion or advice. Slowly starting to open in Ohio, but I have not been anywhere since March 13th. Yeah, today was Ella's first day really going anywhere out of the house. We didn't go into any stores or anything, but we had to like run a couple drive through errands and she was just like naming cows and deer. It was really cute. So we need to get out more. <laughs> we really do. Hi, Kathy. I don't know if they're, uh, someone said they're going to open Volusia County beaches for driving. Oh, he's not in here. Never mind. <laughs> I haven't heard that. We go for drives, but I feel like we don't go very far. We went to Port Orange today, which is like far for us. So we had a little like adventure. Save me from my mother-in-law and children, Lauren. Oh, Sarah, bless your heart. <laughs> oh, I get it. Some days are hard with kids. Just that's the reality. Like some days are amazing and you feel like the best parent ever. And then some days you're like, wow, I'm barely surviving. How am I going to make it through this? <sighs> Blessings to you, friend. Blessings. You're going to be fine. I'm in Winnipeg, Manitoba. I love that name. That's just so like regal sounding. We're starting to open up. Restaurants have patios open. Hair salons are open. I know that restaurants aren't open inside. I think they're just open like outside or drive through like the same Julie here. Where's the first place you'll go when this is totally over? Oh, I don't know. Probably on vacation. I think we're going to probably go to the Keys, which is pretty far down south from us but i think we're probably going to just go down and have a vacation and won't do much anything really anything different than we're doing here other than just being somewhere else like a different location so that's probably what we'll do probably a vacation somewhere definitely like hang out with family see everybody yeah no inside here either except for washroom Candace, as long as he's not being weird, I would say, well, I mean, everyone's entitled to go where they want to go, you know? <laughs> Who am I? Uh, does hair, does hurricane season scare you? Absolutely. And it looks like we may have one, like another doozy this year. Fingers crossed, knock on wood. I really hope that doesn't happen because I'm not a fan of hurricanes and that would really suck. But I'm trying to like maintain positivity and just like think maybe this year we won't get hit. I don't think we got hit last year with anything. But the year, no, we did. Dorian, Oy. watch my hurricane vlogs. I did because I made a bunch of hurricane vlogs last year. That sucked. <coughs> I 
I'm sad that all summer camps are canceled too, except for Ella's new school has summer camp. Well, camps, it's not summer camp, it's camp, where they can go and work on different skills. Yeah, he can go. I need glasses so bad. Oh, do your eyes really go bad as you get older? I feel like that's a thing. Thank you so much for the Arm & Hammer spray recommendation, girl. You changed my life. I'm telling you that powder spray will, is there ain't nothing like it. You're really good, Candace. I'm not gonna say anything ever again. <laughs> you make the final decision. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, but sometimes you just can't, you know? Thank you, Carly. I'm sorry you're bored, Natasha. I'm glad I can make you smile. That's so nice. Aw, you just reminded me, congrats on Ella getting into her new school. I'm sure she'll thrive. She's such a, an intelligent and sweet girl. Thank you. No, we didn't get like full on hit. It just, it was a potential hit. I don't know if we're going to Disney anytime soon, y'all. I don't know if Disney's gonna be opening up like that. And honestly, I like Disney World, but it's not like on my list of places to go anytime soon. We like to do like more naturey stuff, like go to different places and see different things in the water. I'm like a big water fan, a big water fan, very lazy. <laughs> Disney's a lot of work and Ella really didn't love it, but we are gonna try, maybe like a like a super soft, like a Halloween thing where they do the thing at night. What's it called? Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Stuff like that's a little more chill, but Disney is so expensive and it's just, I don't know. I've been so many times in my life and so has Ella. It just doesn't feel like it's a super necessity for us anytime soon. I heard that Disney will be opening to Florida residents only first. Oh, wow, that's actually super nice. <laughs> Maybe we will go if it's only Florida residents. That's crazy. Because there's so many people at Disney. It's insane. But still, I wouldn't want to go right now because it's just like germs. You know what I mean? I was freaked out to go when it was just like flu stuff. I love going to Florida's Natural Springs and swimming. Yes, I want to take Ella to... Um, there's like a drive through safari somewhere in like Tampa or Clearwater. And I really want to take her to like Blue Springs. There's so much cool stuff like that. And I think she would just really enjoy it a lot more. Just way more chill. Disney is not chill and we like chill stuff. And like germs, I'm good for now. I'm real good. I'm nervous about the germs too. It'll be a while. It'll be a while before we go to Disney too. I'm not even going into Target right now. So I can't even think about going into Disney. <laughs> Ella's doing amazing with her schoolwork. She's so smart. Yes, the drive through safari I think is pretty far from us though. I think it's on the other side of the state. We haven't taken her to Kennedy Space Center but that's probably one of the first things we're gonna do because actually there's a, um, a rocket launch or two rocket launches with, I think with actually like astronauts in them soon. And we're gonna take out the boat and go watch that rocket launch. So I'm super excited about that. I think it'll be fun. I don't remember when it is. I think it's pretty soon, pretty soon. I think the water at Blue Springs stays cold for like a long time too. It's like never warm. Never been on a fan boat. She has not been to Kennedy Space Center. Fun fact, it's also expensive. <laughs> it really is when you're poor. I'm, we're not like poor, but it was when we were looking to go, we just didn't have the money for it, but we'll go when it's open and safe again. I really want um, Kristen Casper, when she came down here last year, her kids had never even seen a rocket and it, uh, there was a rocket launch the day they were here and they now they're obsessed with space. I really wish her kids could go because I feel like they would absolutely love it. Ella will like it and maybe even love it, but like, She's still not there yet. Aw, thanks mom for the super chat. <laughs> she always sends me the jumping people. I always, I'm looking over here like I'm talking to John. 
<laughs> I'm like, uh. Babe, is Ella okay? <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> you dipped behind the couch. Hi guys. Okay, John was in here. He was right there. <laughs> My line of vision is like this. Aw. Do your parents have German background because your dad spoke German once? My dad is German. He's from Germany. He actually, um, oh my gosh, all words have left me. Mom, help me. <laughs> he, what's it called? Came here on a boat when he was two. What's that? What is that called? It's like literally I can't even like get the word together. It's a whole word. It's not, what? What is the word I'm looking for? Someone help me. Immigrated. Jeez almighty. Oy, yay, yay. Yes, he's an immigrant. He's American citizen, obviously, but he immigrated from Germany here. He's very German. His name is Friedhelm. When he was two. That's it. Everybody's got it. Whew. I don't know why I could not find that word. Probably the same reason I couldn't see John on my peripheral vision and he thought it'd be fun to duck down and scare the hell out of me. <laughs> I love pools too and water parks. Ooh, maybe we'll go to a water park. Eh, probably not. Germs. Germs. Christy, that's where I've watched him from the L. Leo on Sunita parking lot? Oh, Titusville. Great Wolf Lodge. Mom brain, yes, I've been up since 5 a.m. So you guys don't take this as my, like who I am right now. I can't even, I look nice, but I, my brain, my thoughts aren't there. So there's that. <laughs> I feel like I, need caffeine but any more caffeine isn't gonna do anything other than give me like heart palpitations so here we are not finding the words oh ella's having a moment <laughs> oh beaches are open it happens to me all the time. It's okay. Thanks for understanding, guys. It's one of those days. We're all tired. Ella's been up since like 6, 5.30. I got up right when she got up or right with her. Hi, Meredith. They say forgetting words is a sign of intelligence. Are you sure? Maybe. Hi, Paula. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Aunt Pat. Love you. We miss you and love you. Ella's fine. She's having a fit. <laughs> Do you want to come say hi? No. Do you want to say hi? No. You don't have to. She doesn't have to. It's okay. You handled that like a champ. You want to you want to come say hi? No. Was that rough? Huh? Are you all right? Yeah. You're back? Yeah. Okay. She's fine. She had a fit. <laughs> Aw, thank you guys. Moments like that happen all the time. I feel like every parent understands that noise. It's like when your kid doesn't get what they exactly want in that exact moment, some resort to making sure you know about their feelings. <laughs> oh, you have the same stove as me, twenties. Sound like a tension breaker scream needs to be done occasionally. <laughs> I've never been to Disney. I, maybe because I've been so much, I feel like Disney is a little bit, maybe, I don't know. I just haven't had the most magical experience at Disney in my life, but it is great. But just know you're not missing out on like the end all be all of all things. I have four kids, two to 16, yelling is normal. Exactly. Exactly. What was she mad about? 
Mm-hmm. Didn't want to put clothes on? She hit her arm. Oh, she hit her arm? Yeah. Oh, poor the baby. Door in the bathroom. <laughs> I sound like that when I have a fit. It helps. <sighs> Guys, look who it is. Jenna's been posting TikToks, just not vlogs lately. I think she's okay. She's all right. I think. I haven't talked. Honestly, I haven't talked to her in probably a week or two. But um, she's been busy doing her thing over there. Yeah. How's your back? Everybody wants to know. It's sore, but it's all right. I'll survive. Yeah. We're pooped. <laughs> it's one of those days. Ella's actually had a great day. Hey, everybody. Yeah. She's... Susu and Aunt Pat are here. Ella's been good besides, you know, yeah. you heard that. She just hit, happened to hit her arm on the door, so... Oh, here we go. Oh, the comments are coming in hot. Hey. Thank you. Hi, guys. <sighs> you going to say hi? I did. Oh. <laughs> I'm not like you. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hi, hi. Hey, I feel hey, like... <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I feel like live streams, people who watch them back are probably like, oh, my gosh, okay, because I'm like, hi, Jenny. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> I haven't been I haven't been to Universal Studios in years. It's been a long time for me too. Does John brush his beard upward against the grain? My hubby wishes to ask. I do a little bit of both, actually. I will do upward against the grain, and then uh, if I'm putting stuff in it, then uh, obviously I go with the grain and brush it in. But I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Who knew? I did the best hello ever, Trump voice, John Old, John Old. <laughs> Maybe we make some Jonald merch. He'd probably sue me or something. He probably would. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you watch him back, Christy. I feel bad because I feel like this one is so boring, but oh. I, I don't have the energy, guys. I'm really trying here. I'm like, hi. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word immigration. Immigration. And then I couldn't see you. And I'm like, John's not here. And then you're peeked down like this. And I'm like staring. I'm like, really, dude? Yeah, I had to. Catch all of the shoes Jerk. running out. John's concentrating face is hilarious. That face? This one? Hi, guys. Hi. 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 Please reply. Reply to what? John's face is hilarious. Thanks. Jeez. Candace. I'm <laughs> just kidding. You guys were pooped, man. Did you get a Sophia Ch Chia pet? Not yet, but I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs> Do y'all think football season will be back this year? It's Kayla. Uh, yeah, I believe they are going to have football season. College, I don't know, but um, NFL said they would play with fans not in the stands. So. Thank you, Lord. Uh, they, they're supposed to be opening up uh, facilities here soon i know the magic open theirs he needs sports so bad he needs sports so bad would you get ella a pet to teach responsibility and life skills yeah she has a fish she does have a fish <laughs> which she did open a whole thing of food and pour it in there so no she will not be getting anything else like that oh thank you so much heather for the super chat lauren what about taking her to see the dolphin up in clear water she can watch the movie first what's in clear water a dolphin Oh. oh, is it the dolphin with the with the fin? You know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about. I didn't know it was here. I'm like, is it the dolphin with the fin? Oh, I would take her there. Number of viewers went up when Andy came on. I know. This is my life. They don't watch me. They watch him. <laughs> Lauren's eyebrows on fleek. Girl, thank you. You know what happened? <laughs> I took the nose hair trimmers. Oh, did you? And I went shoop shoop, and I gave myself an arch. They're these beasts. I'm trying to maintain myself without having to go anywhere. Yeah. Not doing well. Today I got a Trenta Dragon Mango Dragon Fruit Refresher. It was really good, but now I just have water in it. Oh, golf. First time catching you on a live. I'm so excited. Well, welcome, Stephanie. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, your back hurt. A little bit. I'm getting my eyebrows tatted tomorrow. Oh, yeah. 
I'm so glad someone said my eyebrows are on fleek. I literally just did those suckers <laughs> with the nose chair <laughs> trimmers. <laughs> I'm proud. Can't get too close. I'm like one of those paintings. What? When you get up close, it's not good. Oh, okay. Actually, far away is not great either, but. What's the CFL? CFL, Canadian Football League. Oh. Actually, uh, I know a few guys that play. Is it uh, Ollie in no. Canada? Well, no. he was, yeah, but um, Luchas Purifoy. Uh, do you do keto? No. Not because it's bad, just because I'm a lord. We were doing it. Um, and I like carbs, man. It's, yeah. it's rough for me. I'm not going to lie. I did it for a long time and did okay. Physically, we felt fine, yeah. but mentally it was very taxing. It just wasn't for us, unfortunately. And um, if I were to do it again, I probably wouldn't say anything about it or like make videos about it because that somehow did something to me. Yeah, she's totally a Monet. <laughs> exactly. When you get up close, it's all a mess. Yeah, that's clueless. I knew I was saying it from somewhere. I'm like, mm, yeah, car I like carbs. Um, but keto is great. It really does work. It, yeah, it works. I mean, you know, you do have to monitor a few things, but. Obviously, I like keto. I mean, for like a year, I was a keto channel. Oh, so. We, we're definitely uh, moody without carbs, too. I think that led to a lot of. <sighs> Bless. Fightings. Fightings? Yeah. Arguments. Arguments. Did you try gluten-free diet for your princess? We did. She loves pizza way too much. I know There's they make gluten-free, gluten but she knows she the wouldn't. difference. Yeah. Honestly, um, Ella's diet is getting better with more things that she's trying. Like she had yeah. eggs the other day. Mm -hmm. I made her the uh, egg and grilled cheese kind of thing, but I came here when your channel was keto. Well, thank you for sticking around, Cassie. I appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. I have nothing bad to say about keto. I mean, Keto is great, but it triggered my binge eating disorder. Thank and you so was, much. That was the same issue Lauren had with some of it. I'd be fine, and then all of a sudden, like a week later, yeah. I would not be fine. And I'd fall off the rails hard. Right. Like, for weeks. And it was so, like, what's the word? I think I would get so ashamed because I, I mm -hmm. knew I was videoing myself and like sharing keto stuff and then I would be binging at night. Yeah. And like I wasn't losing weight anymore and I was starting to gain weight and it was getting obvious and I was like very, it was very dark. Keto was dark only because I was filming it and I felt tied to it for like views and stuff which is not at all what you should do YouTube for. So that's why when I switched everything up and I was like I'm done and it just, I've been really happy. I've yeah. met really great people through oh, keto, yeah. though, and, like, a lot of you guys. So I'm so glad that I did talk about it because it did work. But You know, and Amanda still does it, and it's mm -hmm. it works for a lot of people. It just yeah. did not work for us as far as a mental standpoint. Yeah. I mean, I would go down that really dark binge road, and yeah. it's really – it's so shameful feeling when you're doing it, and it was rough. Can't lie. Cannot lie. Exactly. I feel like if you do balance and eat vegetables and yeah. fruit and drink enough water, especially water, I feel like water changes more lives than anything. Mm -hmm. If you just drink enough water or more than you think you should be drinking, you'll be good. Work out, move your body. Um, I don't know what you mean by gluten-free diet worked. Ella's good. I was keto when keto wasn't cool. There's a <laughs> lot of people who are keto when keto wasn't cool. Joe Rogan, right? Cool. Well, a lot of people are, you know, it's, they cut out the carbs just to maintain. And then that's. It's, it's been called a lot of different yeah. things. We saw a girl, you're only human. Give yourself a break. I'm good. I'm really good. <laughs> Honestly, leaving keto behind and not filming what I eat in a days and stuff anymore has been probably the best thing I could do for myself. So yeah. originally found your channel because of keto, but I've stuck around because of how much fun you guys are. Aw, thank you, Jillian. This is super random, Lauren, but Lauren, you should become a <laughs> plant mom. It's going to be so much serotonin. Why are you laughing like that? Because you're going to hurt my feelings. Every plant we've had, what have you done to it? Look at her. She's thriving. You got it two days ago. What? It's been like a week. <laughs> That's hurtful. It's not my hurtful. plant is thriving and she's doing well. And I want to be a plant mom, but he's scared I'll kill them all. I'm not scared she'll kill them all. Her track record speaks for itself. So mean. If I could, I'd take you guys with me and show you the plant at the front door. Oy.
get a succulent. That's what I have. Yep. And it's thriving. She and actually has said, killed one of those before too, though. Let's be oh honest. Oh my gosh. I'm just being honest. Honesty I, hour. Mm-hmm. Aunt Pat said, hope you feel better. I feel fine. I will survive. Hopefully the chiropractor will... All right. Okay, this person needs to go. Ay, ay, ay. Hopefully the uh, <clears throat> chiropractor will crack me back into shape and I'll be fine. I haven't had a 310 shake in like two weeks. Yeah. But I love them still and I would do them. <laughs> I'll, I'll, show, I'll show Kimmy's comment because yeah. I agree. I don't want to touch it. Everybody set, kept saying to like put the succulent in different pots. Right now, I feel like it's doing really well and I don't want to mess with it. Yeah. And everybody said... Don't give them too much water, so I haven't watered it since I got it. And I literally, it's near the sun, but not too in the sun. I'm just trying here, guys. Yeah, keto and Atkins are similar. I think Atkins is more high protein. Have Ella walk on your back after you stretch. That's super Ooh. smart. <laughs> Kids tank. <laughs> Don't worry, my mom killed a cactus. I killed a money tree. What's it called? Oh. Was Ella coming? I want like a little herb garden so bad. We're working on our garden. It, I've I've actually got to get out there and dig up the dead stuff that I killed. That hummingbird juice, they don't like it. Yeah, I got to... Well, water. I'm going to dump it out and remix it. Yeah, I have fake plants all up in this house. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Heather, for the super chat. The, the aquarium, aquarium is in clear, clear water. water. Okay. I want to see the Scientology church anyway. I think that's the one we were talking about maybe going over to. Is it? I think. I don't remember. We'll have to check it out. I like, I love the Tampa area. It's super pretty over there. It's a nice little break. Thank you, Abby, for that. Hey. Just <laughs> check and make sure she's... Okay. <sighs> they put fake flowers and wine bottles that I decorated. That's my gardening skills. Aw. Thank you. Thank you. What does she have? <laughs> she has the hey, muscle thing. Come over and say hi to people. No. Nah. You can come sit with me. Oh, thank you so much, Pamela, for the super chat. You didn't have to do She's that. Coming. Keep on keeping on, you two. I really enjoy your positivity. Thanks for keeping us entertained. Thank you for being here and being a part of our family. You can sit here. Oh, Ella came just in time. Uh -oh. You gotta get up here. Come here. You wanna sit on my lap? Are you going to sit on mine? You want me to sit down? You can sit on my lap. Here, stand up. Thank you so much, Pamela. We love you, friend. Here, come here. <laughs> you got to get up, girl. Here. Mm. Mm. Here, I'll sit down. Mm. You sit on my Look, lap, okay? Everybody's saying hi. Come here. Here. You got her. Ah. Oh, you hit her. Ow. You hit her ankle. Sorry, my bad, girl. Uh, Say hi, everybody. Look. I mean. Say hi. Can you say hi? Can I get in? <laughs> <laughs> Look, everyone's saying hi to you. Yes, my P.O. box is in the description of every video. Yeah, kill it! Oh, what is there's it? a bug. I'll kill it, bug! I'll get it. <laughs> Daddy's getting it. Look, 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 he's getting it. She's like, get me out of here. I talk about my ducks. Okay, you talk about your ducks, girl. It's gone. It's dead. <laughs> Daddy mm -hmm. got it, babe. I'll pick it up. She likes to learn about them, but she does not like them in person. Aw, thanks, guys. She is cute, isn't she? What was it, a mosquito? Uh, yeah. Love how you're like, is it a mosquito? And I just dropped she it. She loves me. bugs. Like, she likes to learn about them. She likes to watch them. She doesn't like them. She in doesn't person. like them in her, per like, in her oh. space. Hey. It's gone, babe. I killed it. She's like, yeah, I'm out. F that, I'm out, is what she said. <laughs> Anyone else have their own channels? I'd love to su subscribe and support. Yeah, you guys yes. link your channels. Subscribe to each other. We used to do that a lot. Yeah. In the early days. Yeah, leave your channels. Subscribe. I'll just wait and I'll start approving them as you put them in. So if, if you, you have, have a to, yeah. if you have a YouTube channel. Don't abandon your channel, channel, Candace. Don't abandon your. Are you good? No. <laughs> don't abandon your Candace. Candace, get it back. It's very hot in Florida. 
Aw. You guys are so sweet. Yeah, if you have channels, leave them in this uh, section right now or in the comment section if you're watching it back. And subscribe to each other. It's really fun. Yeah. I like to see people get to milestones and stuff. It's been really fun. And honestly, it's good for us because we find channels that mm -hmm. honestly we never knew about. Like Candace. Or, yeah. We love Candace. She's a gem. You have plenty to talk about, Candace. If so, I have things to talk about, you have things to talk about. I don't think that's our lawn guy, is it? I say lawn guy like we're rich. Honestly, we have like a little... He has a lawnmower and we don't. Yeah. It might be. I'll look. Okay. Your poor back. <laughs> I know. Don't worry about it. I want to see you and the vlog squad back together. How you guys are staying healthy. Aw. No, it's Teresa's. Call Asa. He's becoming a gardener. <laughs> Okay, okay, I might make a video this week then. You should, you should make a video talking about your struggles, really. I mean, I feel like that's why people relate to me is because I'm like, hey, I uh, have some issues. <laughs> so, and here we are. Megan said, I've wanted to start a channel for almost 10 years and talk myself out of it. Lauren did that for about, what was that, three to four years? Yeah, before I actually started it. Yeah. You should totally do it. You can't think about it, you just gotta do it. Sit down, stand up, whatever you need to do. Film your video. You can use your phone and just do it. Yep. Aw, thank you, Sonia. I know. I can't believe Abby's 15 either. It makes Oof. me so sad. When we met her, she was like 12 turning 13. Yeah. Now she's 15. My friend got over 10K followers on TikTok, and I'm like, it's so much easier yeah. to blow up on TikTok. Yeah, TikTok, it takes that one, one, video. one video. I'm telling you, TikTok is so much easier to blow up on. So if you're looking to get followers really quick, I would start making some TikToks. Yeah. Um, if you're not into making whole videos or you just want to have fun, TikTok's really fun. It's a good, like, chill, funny mm -hmm. spot. Emmett is finally starting ABA at age seven. What is one thing you like about ABA therapy? There's so many. Well, we haven't talked about ABA as much. Yeah. ABA is great. <clears throat> the one thing I really like about it the most is that it gave Ella um, the ability to learn how to communicate yes. effectively so that she can get what she wants and needs from us um, and can tell us when she's hurting and stuff like that. So I would say, this is live, Janice. Um, I would say ABA was great for that. It's really great for life skills. Mm-hmm and for communication skills when your and child has not many. Definitely, and what I would recommend with the ABA is if you can, is to mix education in, which mm -hmm. is what we're going into mm -hmm. and we're so excited about. Mm -hmm. uh, did you see Bree's TikTok of IG hacks? I did, poor Bree. I think she's getting it pretty hard right now on Instagram or somewhere, maybe it was Facebook. Trolls, uh, hard. Poor girl. And she's pregnant, so she's like emotional AF. Yeah. Poor girl. Sorry if you guys hear a lawnmower. Yeah. It'll be quick. Our neighbor's getting their lawnmower. Yeah. Congratulations, Karen. Ellen has... Ellen. <laughs> I'm done today. I can't even speak. Ella's got me obsessed with Jabber Balls. I'm going to be 22 tomorrow, and I love them. I ordered three. Yay! Jen loves them, too, and she's older than 22, and she, like, loves them. Yeah. Also... They're don't forget, you're doing your giveaway there. There is a giveaway on my Instagram if you guys want to check it out. I'm if doing a giveaway with... Uh, if you're on there, so... Yeah, Jabber Ball. Aw, we're, we're kind of matching. Sort of, kind of, yeah. Aw, look at us. Look at us. <laughs> I just grabbed a shirt out of my closet that was hanging. He wanted to match me. It's fine. I'm so proud of you, Gina. You're going to feel a lot better once you see your doctor. Yeah. Does Ella know she's going to a new school in the fall? She does, and she is so excited. She is. She is so excited, like so excited to go to a children's school. You guys, her face lights up yeah. when she talks about it. It's really sweet. She's like, and a playground. And, Julie, I did see that, actually, uh, the TikTok going around. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Cooper's voice, mom, mm -hmm. I don't know her name, um, she did a video about the TikTok thing. Yeah, I mean, it, it's unfortunate that... But it's nothing new. I mean, it's yeah. terrible, and I think it's awful, and it's gross. But I feel like if you were raised right, or, like, you have some sort of sense, or right or wrong, you know that that's not okay. Does yeah. that make sense? Like, 
You have to be a special oh, kind of ignorant. In the one video that really stood out to me, it was a girl and her mother doing it. I know. So it shows where you came from. I hate to say it like that, but it's the truth. Yeah, but that's what Cooper's voice, the mom yeah. said. I don't get upset about stuff like that because I honestly feel bad for people that are that ignorant. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wow, like how your life really must be if you think that it's okay to do something like that. So. And they'll definitely get a crash course in awareness. Yeah, um, by getting trolled by yeah. uh, people who are like, that's disgusting. It kind of, I don't know. I yeah. don't, it's like, are you really winning by trolling them back? I don't know. No, 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 I don't, I'm not saying But maybe they'll them learn back. from I'm it. Learn yeah. if, they're, if they're a normal person, they will learn from it. Yeah. You're right, her name is Kate. Yep. There it is. I remember her as, um, she had a viral video a few years ago mm -hmm. about, it was really sad actually. And it was right when we got Ella's autism diagnosis, I think. And I remember seeing it and it devastated me. And it was like the last time we think this is going to be okay. And the last time is a special. Yeah. And I, I remember seeing that and she is wonderful. She's a very sweet woman. And Cooper's come such a long way. Like, holy crap. I remember back then, like he had no words. I think he speaks a little bit now, which is cool. I haven't really watched. I should catch up. But I remember how sad that was. And I was like, I don't want to feel like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. It can be okay in a different way. So I remember, I think she's come a really long way since then in her journey too. Of course, yeah. Because she's way more positive and like, you know, um, nice about, not nice, because she's never mean. She's very sweet. Just like more upbeat, mm -hmm. I think, about progress and like being hopeful for his future. So yeah, the sad stuff I can't do. <laughs> that was a little bit of a rant. I really like I really like her. I think she's very sweet. But that made me so sad when I watched that as a newly diagnosed yeah. like, child having a new di new diagnosed child. So, wow. You are struggling. <laughs> um, you know, and for me, it's like your your biggest video on as far <sighs> as views and that is. I won't say it's a negative connotation, but it was a negative situation. It was negative. And. I learned so much from that. Right, exactly. But that's my point. Like, mm -hmm. you know, she probably went through that same process too. Mm -hmm. I agree. You know, that's a really good perspective too because like as sad as she was, she was probably, she was reacting, I think, to something that happened, like going somewhere and having a bad experience. Like we were reacting right. to something bad that happened. Exactly. So that makes perfect sense. I think it's like, it's hard because you want to share stuff like that for education and awareness, but at the same time, it kind of, I don't know, it feels a little much like a... Sometimes those videos have to be made because it's what is on your mind at that time. Especially when you're daily vlogging, it's exactly. hard. But at the same time, I learned a lot from that. And mm -hmm. she probably learned a lot from her video too. Like It's what her message was good. And it probably resonated with a lot of people just mm -hmm. like the autism meltdown video did. But at the same time, that's not who, that's not our life all the time. Yeah. And it can feel like that when you're having a moment like it's that. It's one of those rough moments kind yeah. of thing that we talk about. You know, you're going to have rough moments. Yeah. Um, just as an example, the bug thing with Ella that you guys saw, that in the older days, mm -hmm. that would have been a 45 minute yeah. thing. And that was what, five minutes? Mm -hmm. She was good. You do have to have a thick skin to be yes. on social media. And you also have to know when you are a parent in general but especially a special needs parent knowing the difference between educating and exploiting and it can it's a very fine line and yes. unfortunately um you really don't learn where that line is until you either cross it or come very close to it and i learned with ella it's de i definitely don't feel like i exploited her but i definitely wouldn't want her to watch it back and when she started to watch it back it made me upset and that's when I realized that's not the content I want to make anymore. Does yep. she have moments where she has meltdowns? Absolutely. But I don't want that part of education or awareness to be like the focus of like how I grow my platform or how I choose to spread awareness or acceptance about autism. Because Ella is so much more than her meltdowns or her hard moments. So Good. Cooper is really progressing. I've seen that. And I think that's awesome. And I'm really glad that you gave me that perspective of like, she was having a hard moment yeah. or had a hard moment and she was really just speaking on her heart. But I remember being a parent and feeling so sad. And I'm sure how many people felt sad when they saw that meltdown video. Hey, good catch there, guys. I saw that one, but I couldn't get to it. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah. Good thing was you did Was it didn't. bad? Yeah. About me? It wasn't bad. Like it, 
it was bad, but it wasn't like... Okay. Thank you. I try and be a really good parent, but I think everybody just does the best they can. Yeah. I I will never show her having an, a meltdown ever again. It's not a, it's not something that interests me at all. And it's not only that too. It, you you think about her future. You know that's something that she may see down the road. Mm -hmm. um, we've had instances where she goes right to that video because it happens to be at the top of Lauren's page. She thinks page, it's so funny, and she finds it funny, which makes me even more upset. But she doesn't comprehend what it's really about. She just likes the sound of herself yeah. crying. We have not tried a mask with Ella yet. We probably should. Somebody said do a cooking vlog with your mom. You should do one with uh, Pop. I should. Not that my mom's not a good cook. I love her so much. Pop just enjoys cooking. Like, Pop that's enjoys something cooking he way would more. Enjoy. Maybe he can teach me how to make crepes because they were good. They were good. Or that spinach stuff that he makes too that I like. I noticed yesterday's video, Ella said thank you on her own about the packages. Oh yeah, she said thank you so many times yes. too. She was so like excited about it. Yeah, she, um, that's something we I work on with her every day is the manners thing. That's a private moment with when a meltdown occurs. I wouldn't want to watch it, Lauren. I understand. Definitely. Uh, and it is. And I learned a lot. Like I said, I learned a lot from that. Yeah. Um, I, I am, we are not perfect parents. We are not perfect people. No. And I didn't get a handbook or anything when I started to like try and share our lives on the internet with you guys. And unfortunately, that's something I learned the hard way. And it's also one of my most viewed video. I think it's my most and viewed video. Not to, there's good that comes out. Blah. There's yeah, good that too. comes out of that video mm -hmm. because people got an education on not every child's just throwing a fit to throw a fit. Right. It's not, you know, everything is not a fit. They're not throwing a temper tantrum because they didn't get a toy they wanted. Yeah. And I think that's something that people that have watched it can come out of with it. I agree. I think it's important that people do see, like, what you do can affect other people. And, or oh, the lighting just went nuts. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. The sun keeps going in and out of clouds, so. And when I shared that video, I genuinely was like, I really feel like this is going to help someone. Because maybe they're the person, like I was, who would say something in the store and be yeah. like, oh, that kid just needs to get their butt beat or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, um, so I will keep it up for that reason, but I definitely took the comments off because I just, it really wasn't getting a lot of hate, but it, it I, people were starting to feel sorry for us and I just didn't want that. You know what I mean? Like I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. And you know, the good thing with your video, yes, there was a portion of it where Ella was, I didn't but you show, didn't show the full thing. No, no, no. Um, which is good. Yeah. I'm learning a lot watching you learn on autism videos. Oh, thank you, Venus. Somebody asked if you have Instagram. I do. My DMs are crazy, though, guys. I don't see them all. Yeah, and that's for both of us now. It's... Yeah, it's a lot. Email me if you're going to do anything. I would say yes. email is the best bet, even though it's I have to filter through them, and I'm literally, like, two months backlogged on my emails, but I answer three emails a day. That's, like, what I do because social media, I mean, obviously, there's way harder jobs. This is not the hardest thing I've ever done. It's just a lot of like on your phone and I have to parent right. and be a mother. So um, I try and do three emails a day, 10 DMs a day on all platforms and um, editing and filming and stuff like that too. I try and really kind of, or if I have extra time, I'll like really just get through my DMs. But And Amy, I totally agree with you because honestly, I mean, starting out, I had no clue what the difference between a fit mm -hmm. and a meltdown was. And sometimes it's still hard to, to know the difference. Right. But most of the time we know. Yeah. Like a fit, if you give her what she wants, she's not going to have a fit anymore. Like she'll stop right. crying. So um, we, you live and you learn, you know, we learn a lot. It's hard because we're sharing our child on the internet and you open yourself up to a lot of things. Of so. course. You know, I just hope she, she watches all our videos. She loves them. I just hope she feels like that forever. Yep. You know, I try now, especially to just make sure people see what we see school's supposed to start in august as far as i'm aware yeah but that can change daily i mean who knows i thought the meltdown video was important and yeah. i agree uh, i feel you know it's not something you want to show but i think it's something that could help people learn so that's why yeah i'm gonna check on her real quick all right back. okay Ugh. you're right bud yeah sorry for my butt <clears throat> i think i covered it okay
Uh, Florida is not super locked down, no. No, we've had phase reopenings. Yeah, we're in phase... Phase two. No. We're in phase two. Well, 1.5, I'll call it. <laughs> I don't have the sunglasses linked anymore. I don't think she has, like, that sunglass business anymore. I don't really know the deal with that. I haven't talked to her in a while. She's super sweet, and we, nothing bad happened there. We just, I think she went a different direction with her business. Yeah. What are we doing for dinner? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. Tacos, maybe, again? Probably again. Oh, oh. comments. You're fine. I can read. Taco Tuesday. Oh, it is Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, look at us. Look at us. I heard that too, but I think it was what's-his-name closing us. No, I haven't tried her uh, grilled cheese socials baked feta pasta dish. My mom makes a lot of her recipes. She loves her. Yeah. They go to the gym, the same gym as my mom. Do they? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> She's, um... If I saw her, I'd probably know. Yeah. Aw, look at Trixie. Mm -hmm. Hi, Lynn. Portobello pizzas. I'd like that. Lauren doesn't like mushrooms, so. I don't at all. Aw, thank you, Christy. You guys doing anything for this weekend holiday? Um, <laughs> no. Well, Monday I have to go to the chiropractor. Or and we then, have to. And then we'll probably just hang out at your parents' house with and Ella. swim, yeah. We have no plans. Yep. Mississippi pot roast. Ooh, yummy. That's a good one. I haven't done a pot roast in forever. And it's been a while, actually. <sighs> all right. I think we're going to wrap this sucker up. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. It's been an hour. Any longer than that is yeah. what obnoxious. Helped, what helped Ella with speech? Um, neither pecs or sign language. I'm trying to think. Give me a second. For, well, she had speech therapy in the beginning. I and, don't... And then they said she really didn't need it anymore after a certain point. And then just being in the ABA environment with people that were talking to her every day. Yeah, really her feel... speech just picked up because she never did pecs. I mean, yeah. we had some sign language, like, more right. Um, in the early, 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 early days. Mm -hmm. But... Oh, my toe. Sorry. I think um, she just picked up on, like, the language. I don't yeah. remember. Honestly, it's been a couple of years. Well, it was... Honestly, it's when we started at Bass. She just... I think from talking to everybody every day, it, it was just, just a... It just blew up. Yeah. Because she was talking with kids. She mm -hmm. was talking with all of her teachers. Like, yeah. I mean, she talked with us, but like we said, it was, what, at the most, I think, three words at the very most. Yeah. It was just she learned how to communicate. Yeah. <clears throat> Any all right. Any potty training tips? <sighs> They they potty trained Ella guys. We I tried. really I st I tried for four almost five years. Yeah. Four years almost four and a four, half. Four. Yeah. It was rough. I don't have any good tips. Other I don't have any good tips. <laughs> I, I that all that credit goes to the girls at her school yeah. because they really are the ones who potty trained her. They really did. They're the real MVPs. Tamia especially. Tamia was like on that one. Oh, uh, we're going to go actually rest your back now. Yeah, I'm going to probably use the massage gun thing. This thing. The Theragun. This is amazing. It's so nice. Yeah. All right, friends. We will see you in tomorrow's vlog. We love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Love you, Aunt Pat. All right, y'all. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, friends. Bye. <laughs> There's no editing here. It's just no, like us sitting no, here. No, I'll just... Can you do it? Oh, you got to do it Your again. Turn. I can't. <laughs>